Hey guys, my name is Mallory. I'm one of the bear keepers here at Brevard Zoo, and today I'm going to be talking about the bear's diet during hyperphagia. So right now we're feeding out an incredible amount of food, specifically nuts and seeds, because that is what they would be consuming the most during this time. They're really high in protein, and that's exactly what their bodies need to be able to fatten up for the wintertime. During this time, we will uh, increase their enrichment because of the amount of food. Bears can eat up to about 20,000 calories a day. We also offer lots of ice treats, which are layered enrichments, which are really nice because we can add all different types of things and they'll sit on them for a while. We're also gonna start offering a lot more denning material to encourage them to den. Torpor for these guys is actually a shortened hibernation period. Here in Florida, um, our bears don't go through a full, full hibernation period. It's usually about four to six weeks, dependent on the individual. Uh, Cheyenne, she typically goes in about mid-December and we don't see her until about early March. And with Betty, we're hoping to see her go through that full torpor cycle, but she is still growing, so it could take a few more years. Brody, on the other hand, he's mostly doing a lot of just wandering. He makes himself stay beds, which are really, really cute with the substrate that we offer them. Typically, we don't see male bears go completely in a den because that's typically for moms giving birth during that time. Come and see our bears while they're up and still eating. And even when Cheyenne does go in the den, we'll be able to have her up on the monitor for people still to see a very awesome, cool bear behavior.